Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, Senior Editor at the ETC Cooperative. This is the Ethereum Classic course, Class 4, Satoshi Nakamoto and Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto. Satoshi Nakamoto had such knowledge and focus on the same principles as cypherpunks that it is very likely he was one. It is important to note that the fact that he used a pseudonym was very common among cypherpunks. Ever since they had started working on cryptography and building systems for privacy, non-government money and self-sovereignty in the 1980s, they had been frequently investigated, restricted and surveilled by authorities. In October 2008, Satoshi released the Bitcoin white paper and in January of 2009, he launched the Bitcoin network. Bitcoin. The structure and service that Bitcoin provides is very simple. It is a ledger with accounts and balances and users may send new transactions to move money from one account to another. That's it, nothing more. However, this simplicity must not undermine the enormous feat it was, only comparable to the invention of the internet or the printing press. In the next sections, we will explain how it works what it accomplished and what are the implications for Ethereum Classic. Full transmission and full replication. Although not an innovation of Bitcoin, one of the main principles of the system is that all data must be fully transmitted and fully replicated in all nodes of the network. Full transmission and full replication provide the most assurance of uptime and redundancy. The way it works is that each time a transaction is sent, it is retransmitted by all nodes to all other nodes participating in the network so they can keep a replicated copy. This includes miners who then proceed to build and stamp batches of data with these transactions. Proof of work. The batches of data in the database of Bitcoin are called blocks and they are also fully transmitted and replicated. When miners receive the transactions, they package them into blocks every 10 minutes and then stamp them with a cryptographic function called a hash. These hashes or stamps require enormous amounts of work and consumption of electricity for computers to generate them. This is why the process is called mining. Once the miners hash the blocks of transactions, then they send them back to the rest of the network for verification and full transmission and replication. Once verified, the blocks are included and the next batch of transactions by a, as the next batch of transactions by all nodes in their local databases, forming a chain of blocks, hence the term blockchain. Fixed monetary policy. The way Bitcoin is issued and distributed is by paying miners a reward for doing all the required work while spending enormous amounts of electricity. When a block is verified, a preset amount of Bitcoin is created and credited to the account of the miner. The reward schedule per block every 10 minutes determines the supply of Bitcoin, and it was preset in periods of four years where the payment per block has been decreasing by 50% in each period. So, from 2009 to 2012, the payment was 50 bitcoins per block every 10 minutes. Four years later, it was 25. Then, 12 and a half, 6.25, 3.125, and so on. This schedule guarantees that there will only be 21 million bitcoins created by the end of 2140 and no more will ever exist. Security model. Proof of work provided an unprecedented level of security never seen before in computer science because of these four characteristics. One, the cost of creating blocks is equal to the cost of creating the currency. As seen above, the rewards are paid to miners only if they do the work required to hash blocks. Therefore, the cost of creating blocks is the same as creating the money. Two, enable consensus between all computers. 
because the block because the only block that will be accepted as the next block by all machines in the network will be the one that has all the work done then it is very easy by all nodes to decide on the same exact block every 10 minutes any block sent by imposters that did not do the work will always be eliminated three focal point for entry exit and re-entry the same information the great amount of work done by miners that assures perfect consensus every 10 minutes between all machines in the system is the one that may be used by any new entrant into the system or any machine that leaves and then wants to enter again to know which is the correct chain of blocks just by verifying that the work was done. Any imposter chains that did not do the work will always be eliminated. Four, protection of all the history of transactions. For any transaction that has been sent and included in a block in Bitcoin to be reversed or deleted, the same amount of work that was done for its inclusion must be done again. This prevents any attacker from reversing past transactions and the older a transaction is, the more difficult it is to reverse or delete. Nakamoto Consensus The system invented by Satoshi Nakamoto is called Nakamoto Consensus and includes all the components described above. 1. Full transmission 2. Full replication 3. Proof of work 4. Block production 5. Fixed supply And all these combined assure immutability and security of the blockchain. What does it accomplish? As said before, Nakamoto consensus accomplishes a level of safety and security of the system never reached before while keeping it decentralized. This makes it trust minimized, meaning that users may interact directly between themselves in a peer-to-peer -peer way, sending and receiving money without the need of trusted third parties, who may be captured by special interest restricting freedom and human action. Just as the internet, Bitcoin is designed to survive a nuclear war. And on top of that, it assures hard money for the internet. Implications for Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic uses the same consensus mechanism as Bitcoin. However, ETC adds to the, ba uh, to the base technology of Bitcoin the ability to store and execute smart contracts or decentralized programs. This turns applications in ETC into decentralized applications which execute their code inside the highly secure environment of the blockchain. So, ETC has the same two base pillars as Bitcoin. A fixed supply and proof of work based consensus mechanism. But to that, it added smart contracts. This makes ETC's principle of code is law a true statement. Therefore, ETC gives money and applications the benefits of soundness, survivability, censorship resistance, and stoppability, and they are uncompromisable and uncapturable. This is, this is the model expressed above. The three pillars of Ethereum Classic are smart contracts, which Bitcoin doesn't have, fixed supply and proof of work, which are the ones that brings from Bit Bitcoin, and these guarantee, truly guarantee uh, um, the tangibility and the truth of code is law as a principle. And the code is law principle that assures immutability and things like that has the benefits of soundness of the money, survivability, censorship resistance, unstoppability of applications, transfers, uh, accounts, balances, etc. And the whole system is uncompromisable and uncapturable. Thank you for watching this video, the Ethereum Classic course, class 4, Satoshi Nakamoto and Bitcoin. And if you wish to learn more about Ethereum Classic, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.